Again, uh, this week we have another themed aircraft sim update week. We have some uh, big updates to some airliners that are arriving soon as well as some exciting uh, GA releases uh, this week. Details about the possibility of the last main update for the 2020 sim before the release of the new 2024 sim. We have all of that covered including all of this week's uh, big announcements and release news so uh, let's jump straight into the video. Flight Sim Studios have announced they will be releasing their Boeing 727-200 freighter on August the 6th. The team announced they were developing the Boeing 727 aircraft during this year's Flight Sim Expo in June. The release date is a little longer than expected as originally the 727 was expected to release at the end of July. The team mentions the little extra time they've had has enabled them to add a few smaller things to the release instead of making them wait for a later update. Flight Simus Geos mentions that the XLS GPS was originally announced, it won't be delivered with the release and it will be added as a free update one to two months after the original release in August. You may have already noticed that some content creators have access to the 727 already and from the looks of what we've seen the Boeing 727 from Flight Sim Studios is not a beta release that we've seen with their in development e-jet releases in the past. There is no confirmed price or where we can purchase the Boeing 727 from Flight Sim Studios yet but we won't have to wait too long as the 6th of August is not too far away iFlyer this week released a new video of their in development 737 MAX 8. The new video takes a quick a virtual tour showcasing the passenger cabin all the way down to the cockpit. The cabin appears to be a quite detailed and moving down to the cockpit the team showcased the displays and also the cockpit night lighting. Recently Microsoft announced they will be including their most realistic in-house development aircraft yet which will also be the 737 MAX 8 which will be part of the core 2024 sim. No idea when we will see the iFly's version of the Max, but their competition being Microsoft will be out in less than four months. Blackbird, formerly known as Milviz, updated the community this week on a range of their in-development projects. The first the team confirmed they are developing the Skycrane helicopter for the upcoming Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 sim. The team were not able to provide any information due to obligations, but they did mention the copy is based on a real version of the S64F and E Plus variant. One of the most anticipated Blackbird in development projects is the SR-71. The team mentions they are throwing everything at this release including in-flight refueling. Blackbird mentions they are aiming for a Christmas 2024 release or an early 2025 release. However, it's not likely to be backwards compatible to the 2020 sim due to development complexities of the aircraft. From the sounds of it, the SR-71 will be a native to the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 sim. The C-130J Super Hercules will be coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and not 2020. At the moment, the team are having some issues porting from P3D to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Mainly, these issues have been porting the systems and not the modeling. The UH-1H Huey, the team mentions they are continuing with the development even after recent releases of other Hueys on the market. Blackbird did mention other projects such as the Zero, the T-38, the Corsair redevelopment, the B-1B Lancer, the Boeing 737-200, the F-15 Eagle, and the F-16C but no real details about the updates other than delays or progressing with development when it comes to these projects. Of course, we will keep you posted on all the Blackbird projects, but from the looks of it, we will see their next release, which will be the Skycrane with the new 2024 sim. If you have watched our videos many times and you're still not subscribed yet, let me give you a little bit of a hand. There's a little button underneath the video here where you can click it and it will add our weekly videos to your weekly YouTube feed. This way you won't have to search for our video content and you can stay up to date with all the latest Flight Sim development news. As well as it helps support the community to grow. What are you waiting for? Thank you very much for subscribing. FlightFX confirms that their C750 has entered beta testing. 
The Cessna Citation X is an American built a business jet best known for being one of the fastest civilian aircraft in the world. Seats between 9 and 12 passengers with a max cruising speed of Mark 0.92 with a range up to just under 3,500 nautical miles. Over on the FlightFX Discord page, they mentioned the last phase of development before the release to Simmers has commenced. According to SimFX, pricing and release information will be revealed by them soon. Taxiing over to this week's release news, Lionheart Creations releases the Whitman Tailwind Bush Plane for Microsoft Flight Simulator. The Tailwind W10 Bush Plane is a two-seater, single-engine, home-built, light civil aircraft developed by an American aerospace engineer, Steven Witterman. The aircraft has been heavily modified and features a heavier airframe, wider wingspan, large fuel tanks, and a massive prop, and also a modified landing gear so the prop doesn't strike the ground. Lionheart Creations provided a pretty good description of the aircraft but didn't supply an official feature list with the release, only a few screenshots that we're showing here. So if you want to take a punt on the latest Lionheart Creation, you can pick up your copy of the Tailwind W10 from the Sima Market Store. I'll leave a link in the description below. Batavia this week released the Yak-52 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is the second release for the team in July and only just releasing the Hadley page a few weeks ago. And now they have released this Russian military trainer, which is known for its impressive aerobatic capabilities. The Yak is powered by a 360 horsepower, nine cylinder supercharged radial engine. It's capable of a roll rate that exceeds 120 degrees per second and is often seen performing at air shows around the world. Batavia's version of the aircraft comes with 3D modeled gauges, wire sound package, detailed cockpit with numerous animations, rain effects on the glass authentic flight model, toggable crew figures authentic flight model, and includes a bunch of exterior animations including cow flaps, oil cooler flap, landing gear, and control surfaces. You can pick up your copy of Batavia's Yak-52 over on the Sim Market Store. Again, links in the description below. SimWorks Studios have released the RV8 Vans for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This release has been anticipated for a while now and it's finally made its way to the sim. This is the third release from SimWorks Studios of the aircraft from the Vans family. With this release, you can choose between a tricycle or a tail dragger variant, along with various propeller options. SimWorks Studios 3D scanned the RV-8 to recreate the model to inspire it to be the highest detail as possible. Features include with the release is two versions of the aircraft, seven custom liveries with a white template, two and three blade prop options, two and three blade prop sounds recorded from the real aircraft. Flight model has been recorded from real flights of the RV-8. It also is compatible with the PMS GTN and the TDS GTM XI. FPS friendly with aerobatic smoke effects created by Parallel 42. Flutter animations from the prop wash animated air conditioning vents and it has open all exit and baggage compartments. You can pick up your copy of the RV-8 Vans from SimWorks Studio Store or in the InSim Marketplace Store. I'll leave a link in the description below. SoFlow offer a number of products for Microsoft Flight Simulator, catering to new pilots for the sim and all the way to very experienced pilots. As a flight sim content creator, my favorite SoFlow product is Weather Presets Pro, which comes in really handy when the weather is not behaving itself and you can change the weather to be more dramatic or even to a perfect day. Other products I like to use is a Landing Challenge Pro, Flight Simulator Guide, which is the manual to Microsoft Flight Simulator, the one that should have been, Storms for pilots who want to chase some of the biggest storms in the world's history, and a couple of their recent products, which is Aircraft Checklist and their new animal release for Microsoft Flight Simulator, which puts over 5,000 animals into the sim. I will leave a link in the description below or where you can go and check out SoFly products, and I would like to thank SoFly for sponsoring this video. Lining up on the runway for this week's sim update news, the Microsoft team mentioned this week they are hard at work with the last sim update for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 this year. Sim update 16, which is still scheduled for a tentative release on September the 5th. The next big sim update after sim update 16 will be the release of the new sim Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 on November the 19th. 
Alongside Sim Update 16, we are still expecting to see the release of the delayed Aeroplanes Heaven famous flyer, the Boeing 707-320C. Fingers crossed that the Boeing is up to spec for a release, but from what we do know that the Microsoft team, if they are not happy with the situation of the aircraft, they have no problem delaying a release until it's up to scratch. The next development live stream has been scheduled for Wednesday, August the 14th. This is where we should hear some more announcements about the upcoming world update number 18 which is due to release on the 27th of August and from the looks of it it will be the last world update we will see until the release of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. This makes sense as Jorg mentioned in the previous development live stream, they will start sharing some more in-depth information about the 2024 sim sometime in September. That being said, only a city update is scheduled for release in mid to late September and also a famous flyer sometime in October, which is still TBA. This is the Caravelle, which again was delayed due to not being up to spec and it was originally to be released during the Olympic games. Certainly the Microsoft and marketing team should start hyping the 2024 sim release from at mid September onwards so it makes sense that we don't see any other releases are taking away from the hype of what's coming on 2024. This week on the backlog list for new products to be released on the InSim marketplace when it comes to week on week has increased by six to a total of 254. Aircraft are up by eight to 33. Missions are up by 12. Sceneries are up by two. Liveries are holding at 22. Airports are down by six and others are holding at 16. For this week's InSim marketplace releases, we were again treated to the usual two day releases. Monday's release we saw 12 new products seven of these are on PC and five of these are on Xbox no aircraft releases on the Monday but we did receive two livery packs one at VFR pack and four airports Thursday's release included 74 new product releases 35 of these were on PC and 39 of those were on Xbox two aircraft releases this week one was the just flight as they have released their F28 Fokker to the Xbox console the aircraft has been available on PC for some time now but now it's made its way to the console and the second aircraft release was the SimWorks Studios Vans RV8 which we mentioned earlier in the video. The other releases on the Thursday included three livery packs, 14 commercial flights or training or challenge packs. Most of these were from VA simulations who must have achieved the most amount of release products on the, the InSim marketplace by now in my opinion. Moving on with nine scenery or landmark packs, one immersion pack, two environmental packs and seven airports. There also has been many aircraft updates this week so it's worth checking out to see if you have any updates in your InSim content manager. We love to read all your comments about anything that we have shown in the video so let us know your thoughts and we will reply to most of them that we can. We also multi-stream over on YouTube and Twitch each and every week. There will be notes in the description below of what times you can catch our streams and we will see you in another video real soon.